This is a young African wildebeest. But this isn't a story about wildebeest. It's a story about what's trying to eat the wildebeest. The mighty Nile crocodile. Didn't work the first time, so the croc gives up. Kidding, kidding, I'm kidding, that's me pulling your leg. Of course the croc tries again, but wildebeests have good reflexes, and all the croc gets is a bloody snout. But the wildebeests need water to survive, and the croc is still hungry. The croc will not be denied. It didn't outlive the dinosaurs by giving up after one try. The crocodile eats mostly fish, but will take a crack at just about anything. Turtles, impalas, baboons, humans, even this heron. It'll even pursue the poor, tiny, helpless carmine bee-eater chicks that have fallen out of their nest. Not much sport here, but, well, a snack is a snack. Of course, it lives to go after bigger snacks, like a Thompson's gazelle. The crocodile has been on the planet for 200 million years. It has the most highly developed brain and heart of all reptiles to go with its highly developed stalking abilities. When there's not enough to go around, the crocs start battling each other, with the biggest one getting the happy meal. Nile crocs live mostly in the rivers, marshes, and lakes throughout Africa. The hotter the weather, the more animals have to come down for a drink. These zebras plan to cross this watering hole. When the crocs attack, a mighty melee ensues. The crocs themselves might get trampled. A croc attacks. The zebra struggles. Just when it seems that all is lost, the zebra somehow wriggles away and swims to safety. The croc then manages to get a hold of a foal's leg. The foal is desperate to get away and even tries to bite the croc's armor. But one zebra is enough to feed several hungry crocodiles, and the frenzy is on. No time to mourn. The zebras must rush past the feeding crocs to make it across the river. <laughs> 